Have you ever wondered how people survived during the Great Depression, one of the harshest periods in history? Picture this, the 1930s, a decade that tested the mettle of millions worldwide. It was a time of economic struggle when jobs were as scarce as hen's teeth and money was tighter than a drum. Yet, in the face of these daunting challenges, our ancestors discovered a remarkable solution, a diet that not only sustained them, but also nourished them. This was the era of the Great Depression diet, a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. It was a time when resourcefulness was the order of the day, and frugality was the mantra that echoed in every home. Amid the bleakness, people discovered the power of simple, nutritious food and the importance of togetherness. The Great Depression diet was more than just a way of eating. It was a symbol of hope, a beacon of resilience that shone brightly in the face of adversity. It was about making do with what was available, turning humble ingredients into hearty meals, and finding comfort in the simplest of foods. So what were the key elements of this diet you ask? Well, the list includes staples like beans, cornbread, and dark leafy greens, along with practices such as canning and pickling. Each of these elements played a crucial role in ensuring survival during those trying times, but more than that, they were a testament to the power of human resilience and the ability to adapt and thrive in even the most challenging circumstances. Now it's your turn. We'd love to hear about any shortages you're experiencing in your area. Are there certain foods or resources that are hard to come by? Your insights will help us understand how these historical lessons can be applied to our present-day challenges. In the face of adversity, our ancestors discovered a diet that sustained and nourished them. So, what was the secret of their survival? It was the Great Depression Diet. As we delve deeper into this fascinating topic, we'll uncover the lessons from the past that can help us navigate our present and future. Stay tuned. Our journey into the past begins with a simple yet vital ingredient, the humble bean. This unassuming legume was a cornerstone of the Great Depression diet, offering a wealth of nutrition without putting a dent in the wallet. Beans, you see, are a treasure trove of protein and fiber, two essential nutrients that not only keep us full, but also sustain our health. During the Great Depression, when funds were tight and every penny counted, the humble bean rose to prominence as an affordable source of nourishment. But it wasn't just about affordability, it was about versatility too. Families across the nation found creative ways to incorporate beans into their meals, turning this basic ingredient into a variety of hearty dishes. Think of a pot of bean soup, for instance. Made with beans, water, and whatever herbs and spices families could scrounge up, this simple dish was a beacon of comfort in challenging times. It was a meal that could be stretched to feed a family, providing sustenance and warmth in equal measure. The aroma of bean soup simmering on the stove was a familiar scent in households across the country, a testament to the resourcefulness and resilience of our ancestors. In addition to soup, beans found their way into a host of other dishes. They were baked, mashed, and even turned into loaves. Every bit of the bean was used, from the protein-rich heart to the fiber-filled skin, ensuring that nothing went to waste. This was the beauty of the humble bean, it was not just a source of nutrition but a symbol of frugality and resourcefulness. So as we journey back in time we pay tribute to the humble bean, a simple ingredient that played a crucial role in the survival of our ancestors during the Great Depression. A pot of bean soup simmering on the stove was not just a meal, it was a symbol of comfort and resilience. As we continue to explore the Great Depression diet let's remember the lessons of the humble bean lessons of resourcefulness, resilience, and the power of simple nutritious food. Now we shift our focus to another staple of the Great Depression diet cornbread. While an essential part of the Great Depression diet was beans, another equally important yet humble element was cornbread. Made from two simple ingredients, cornmeal and water. Cornbread was a meal that was easy to prepare and inexpensive to make, but don't let its simplicity fool you. It was a powerhouse that provided much needed energy during those trying times. Cornmeal, the primary ingredient in cornbread, was an affordable staple that was readily available even during those lean years. When mixed with water and baked, it transformed into a filling and satisfying dish that could be enjoyed at any time of the day. Whether served alongside a bowl of bean soup for dinner or enjoyed as a quick bite for breakfast, cornbread was a versatile food that fit seamlessly into the Great Depression diet. But cornbread was more than just a source of sustenance. It held a symbolic significance that is worth noting. You see, cornbread was a testament to the resilience and resourcefulness of our ancestors. It was a reminder that even with the bare minimum cornmeal and water, 
they could create a meal that not only filled their stomachs but also fueled their bodies. During a time when every penny mattered, the simplicity and affordability of cornbread made it a staple in households across the nation. But beyond that, it represented a beacon of hope. It was a symbol of the human spirit's ability to adapt and persevere in the face of adversity. As we delve deeper into the elements of the Great Depression diet, we see a recurring theme of simplicity, resilience, and resourcefulness. These qualities embodied in a simple slice of cornbread are lessons that remain relevant today. They remind us that even in times of hardship, we have the capacity to adapt, to make do with what we have, and to find strength in simplicity. Cornbread was more than a meal. It was a reminder that even in simplicity there is strength. Scene Script Let's explore the nutritional powerhouses that graced the plates during the Great Depression, dark, leafy greens. Imagine a time when people had to get creative with their meals, turning to the Earth's bounty for sustenance. Dark, leafy greens like collard greens and spinach became the unsung heroes of the dinner table. These vegetables were not only readily available but were also packed with essential vitamins and minerals, offering a nutritional bang for the buck. Collard greens, for instance, were a symbol of resilience and resourcefulness. Known for their hardiness, they thrived even in poor soil conditions, providing families with a reliable source of nutrition. In fact, a single serving of collard greens could provide a significant portion of the daily recommended intake of vitamins A and C, two powerful antioxidants. They also brimmed with dietary fiber, helping to keep hunger at bay. Spinach too played a crucial role in the Great Depression diet. It was an excellent source of iron, a mineral essential for producing energy, and maintaining a healthy immune system. Moreover, it offered a good dose of calcium, vital for bone health. But it wasn't just about the nutritional value of these greens, it was about how our ancestors incorporated them into their meals. They got creative, turning these leafy greens into hearty soups and stews, even mixing them into salads. These dishes were not only filling but also helped stretch other ingredients further. Think about it. A pot of soup simmering on the stove with handfuls of chopped collard greens or spinach stirred in, Every spoonful was a nutritious investment in the family's well-being. Every bite was a testament to their resourcefulness and resilience. These were not extravagant meals by any means, yet they represented something far more significant. The power of nutrition in the face of adversity, the ability to make do with what was available, and the determination to not just survive, but to thrive. It wasn't just about surviving, it was about thriving with the power of nutrient-rich foods. The art of preservation was another important aspect of the Great Depression diet. During the Great Depression, families learned to extend their resources with canning and pickling becoming common practices. Imagine jars of vibrant fruits and vegetables, each one a symbol of resourcefulness and foresight. These jars held more than just food, they held hope, a promise of nourishment in leaner times. Canning and pickling allowed families to preserve the bounty of the seasons, turning moments of plenty into a sustainable resource. It was a lesson in sustainability, a testament to the human ability to adapt and thrive, even during times of scarcity. This tradition of preservation wasn't just about making food last, it was about making the most of what they had. It was a way of life, a way of survival. The art of preservation became a lifeline, allowing families to taste the flavors of plenty, even during scarcity. The Great Depression diet wasn't only about the food, it was about the spirit of togetherness that defined this era. It was an era characterized by shared struggles and shared victories, an era where the simple act of sharing a meal became a beacon of hope amidst adversity. Imagine families huddled around a warm pot of bean soup or a freshly baked loaf of cornbread, each bite savored not just for its nourishment but for the comfort it brought. It was more than just a meal, it was a symbol of unity, a testament to the strength of community. Despite the economic hardship, People found solace in each other's company, strengthening their bonds and fostering a sense of togetherness. It was this spirit that saw them through the toughest of times, a spirit that we could all learn from. In times of uncertainty, it was the act of coming together that sustained them. Let's apply these timeless lessons to our lives, learn from each other and build a community of resilience. I'll see you on the next video.